Now see, here's what modern day evangelism doesn't understand. You can only take a man so far. Don't you see that? And you can't substitute the work of the Spirit of God with some little method of taking a verse out of context, getting them to pray a prayer, and then popishly declaring them to be safe. Don't you see that? And you steal this from people! With your stupid little evangelism, you steal this from people! You say, oh, you're so angry, you use words so hard. Why shouldn't I? To see the gospel prostituted like this. And men run through some little mill. Don't you understand? People aren't numbers. They have different color eyes. And they have different color hair. And they're different in their heart. And they have different problems. And they cry for different reasons. And they're people. They're not groups of people. They're people. And they need Christ. And you run them through these goofy little tracks and get them to sign the back of them and declare them to be saved. And by the grace of God, some of them do get saved, but it's not because of you, it's in spite of you. What about dealing with a soul? What word can you put on a soul? Or in one case, an evangelist saying, just pray and ask Jesus to come into your heart. And the guy said, well, I, I don't feel comfortable praying out loud. Well, that's okay. Uh, just pray in your own heart. Well, I really don't know how to pray. Well, that's okay. I'll pray for you and you repeat the words after me. How many of you have seen that happen? I'll re you repeat after me. Uh, well, really? Okay, here's what we'll do. I'll pray the prayer, and if it's what you want to say to God, squeeze my hand. Behold the power of God. They don't even mention Jesus. They mention a decision and a prayer and their own sincerity or supposed sincerity. Instead of, I know I'm saved, I'm looking unto Jesus. I'm trusting in Him. I've thrown myself upon it. I've made my deposit. And I know He is able to keep it until that point. An ongoing, not a flu shot, done did that. No, the evidence you've done did that is you're still doing it. You see. First one stands up there and he's trembling. The soldier hits him with the spear. He says, confess. And he says, Jesus is ten Kyrios. Jesus is Lord. And they cut his head off and he falls on the ground. And then the next one takes his place. Jesus is, is Lord. And they kill him. And then the next one takes his place. Jesus is Lord. And they kill him. And then modern day evangelists in America take that passage and they say, if right now you will pray this little prayer, you have confessed Jesus is Lord and you're saved. Do you see what we've done? That's not at all what the text means. It's pitiful what we do. You are saved only by faith, by believing, by looking at Scripture and the Spirit bearing witness that this is true, and you trust in Christ. But the evidence of that, that you have truly believed that your life has been transformed by the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit is that you become a confessional person. With your life you bear fruit. With your mouth you confess Jesus Christ even though it will cost you your life. 